Hello Cancer and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I'm here to do your nightly reading my darlings. Yay! This reading is for the collective so just take what resonates Cancer. Leave the rest behind, right? You guys know the drill. And thank you so much everyone for all of your support. The likes, subscribes, comments, um, all the confirmations you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all so much. All right, so Cancer, I have a little surprise for you. I got a new deck. Actually, I, you know, I kind of found the new deck, okay? Um, and I haven't used it before, so I, I'm not quite sure where it came from. I think it was a gift. So we're going to try it out for your reading tonight and see what your person really wants to say to you, okay? Um, anyway, Divine, what do you have for my beautiful Cancers? First, we're going to look into their, their emotions and see how they're feeling, okay? And if you guys are interested, I use this Mixed Emotions deck a lot on Patreon for your extended. So just so you know, it's like a whole other reading. All right, so yeah, this person is about to get a tower moment here. And, you know, honestly, I'm getting the sense that they really won out of the situation anyway. I'm, I'm picking up that this person has been praying for divine intervention because they quite simply can't stand the people that they're around. Um, they're, this is like hermit energy here. They're feeling very isolated, very alone. Even though they're around this group of people, they're just not vibing at their level anymore. This group that they've been around ha are like negative energy, okay? They group together. They talk about people behind their backs. They could even be um, talking about you behind your back. I'm picking up on that. So, yeah, this person, all they hear about is the gossip. They just don't want to be a part of them anymore. This person is actually growing, okay? They really are. Um, they may not be aware of it. And it may not feel that way, right? But they are. Uh, it's that isolating themselves and wanting to pull away from this group of negative energy. Okay? Um, praying for divine intervention. They're talking to God. Okay? And they're about to get help. It's right outside this window. They're in a home situation where people are gathering together. I'm seeing people come over to their house like all the time in groups and just sit around and talk about other people behind them. I'm getting that they're doing that with you, okay? And they, they're kind of getting really sick of it. They know these people are really just exposing themselves as being toxic people. Your person knows this now about them. And they're asking for divine help. And they're realizing here that, you know, the thing is, too, I feel like they're hanging their head down. They know you've been hurt, and they're the ones who hurt you. And they're hanging out around these people and allowing them to keep putting you down. And so I feel like it's really weighing on their conscience a lot because they know it's your fault. And you don't deserve to take the blame for what you've been put through. So, you know, I kind of get the sense that they just want, they just want an end to this. Their, their conscience can't bear it anymore, okay? And they can't stand listening to these people just bash your reputation. You know, some of these people don't even know who you are. That's what I'm picking up on. And they're out here assuming that, like, they're assuming the worst about you, Cancer, because this person allowed you to take the blame for being hurt okay yeah I feel like this person is feeling shame actually that's really the feeling that I'm starting to get here on this person okay all right what else can you show me how is this person yeah and that's a confirmation they're shamed you know and here's the thing it kind of feels like they, they want to pull away from this group. What they should do is defend you. What this person should do is stand up for your name and bring you some um, justification, right? Yes, vindication. And I feel like they're not doing that because, see, people have believed their lies. And, um, yeah, see, my phone is just going off. It's, 
it's blowing up. Somebody's blowing up my phone. It's probably my sister. <laughs> but anyway, um, a lot of confirmations, though. Yeah. So they can't really tell the truth. Uh, well, they can and they should, but they're not doing that because it would ruin their reputation. Then pe these people would turn on them. They'd have to say, you know what, stop picking on cancer. Um, I'm the one who should take the blame for this, but they're not, they're not doing that. Okay? And because then they know these people are going to start trashing their reputa reputation behind their back. So see, for the longest time, it was easier for this person to just blame you and allow these people to rip you apart. I feel like they threw you to the wolves here, and these are the wolves. And they're still doing it. They're still dragging your name through the dirt, through the mud, cancer. And this person now has to sit in that energy, okay? They have to sit with that and really look at themselves. And that's what's creating this change in them, okay? This is why they're starting to vibe at a higher level. It's because of the guilt and the shame. They're, they, they are faced with themselves now and realizing just how wrongly you've been treated, okay? Now they're in a whole lot of regret. They're sinking into a depression because they, uh, this is wearing on their health too, I'm getting. You know, because they feel like they're stuck in the situation and there's no way out. The divine is coming to give this person their karma and to get them out of the situation so that they can come in and do the right thing here. They're very overwhelmed. They're watching you from afar. They're feeling that pressure from the universe. And I feel like this person's scared. They know what they have to do, okay? They know what they have to do, and they're feeling defenseless. Like I said, if they come out with the truth, this whole group is going to turn on them. And they won't have a defense because they know it's their fault. Okay, man, is this person in regret. They're very remorseful for how things went down between you guys, okay? They're sorry, Cancer, okay? They're regretful. They're doing a lot of crying alone, okay? They've already started this isolation process. I feel like they go into a separate room to cry. Maybe they're looking at your photos a lot. And you're moving. You're, you're moving forward. You could be moving. You're moving forward. You're leaving them behind like a ponytail in the wind energetically they don't want you leaving their life they feel literally horrible for how they've treated you and they feel even worse at, at the fact that they have created um it's almost like they've put you in a the, they've put you in an arena for people to tear you apart this is what they've created now it's such unfair treatment and and they know it you know, they feel literally horrible, very discouraged, irritated because people will not stop talking about the person that they actually are in love with. This person's in love with you. And spirit is getting really angry, really mad at this person, though, because, you know, um, they need to do the right thing. They cannot continue to allow other people to trash your name for having your heart broken. It was their fault, you know, I feel like they did this. You know, they're getting frustrated here, um, running out of time to do the right thing. And here's those moving vans. I feel like you're moving, you're at least moving forward. You're done staying slow for this person. You're done waiting around for them. You're done being in stagnancy. You've learned your lessons. You're taking the training wheels off and you're flying out of here. So I feel like, yeah, or you could be even like taking a vacation. You could even be moving like uh, across country or something. Like this person knows you're leaving their life and they may never, never see you again. 
And if they don't do the right thing here, they're not going to get another opportunity. So, yeah, they're in a bad situation, but they put themselves there. I feel like this person is angry with themselves. Okay? This could be somebody who's sharing um, a home with somebody else who's, who is kind of acting like the Queen of Swords energy. Very harsh, very cold. Um, if they're with someone else, this person is so hard to deal with. They're just bitter and angry and very negative and dark, okay? And I feel like this person is trying to plan and trying to figure out a creative way to get out of this situation and um, with their reputation intact. See, they'll allow people to bash on your reputation, you know? knowing full well that they're the ones who hurt you in the first place. They'll allow that, but boy, uh, they don't want to take the risk in having these people rip them apart. You know, I'm sorry, but I have a problem with this, and this person should be very ashamed of themselves. They are. They're feeling that shame. They're feeling that shame. I feel like, Cancer, you're freeing yourself from this situation. You've had enough of this person's uh, lies and betrayal, okay? You've had enough of the, um, the cowardly attitude that this person has. They're just, they're being a coward, you know? And I feel like on top of everything that you've been through, you still have the courage to move forward alone. They don't even have the courage to tell the truth and defend the one that they love. Yeah, see, they're afraid. They don't have the courage. I'm sorry, but this person is being a coward. And I feel like there, there is divine intervention. This tower is coming for them, and it's going to shake up everything, okay? Okay. But that will also level this problem out for this person so that they can rebuild. And at that point, I feel like they're going to be forced to tell the truth. Okay? Karma is coming for this person, though. Yeah. And, I, you know, and as soon as I say they're going to be forced to tell the truth, the relieved card comes out. Okay? So they are going to actually end up being relieved from this situation, the divine is going to bring everything down, right? Um, all the lies, everything is about to be exposed here. And I'm just getting the sense that your person just can't deal with the shame anymore. They are so ashamed of themselves. They literally feel terrible. But here's the thing, Cancer, I'm not pitying this person because they got themselves into this at your expense. They did all of this to, to, to save themselves, and they threw you to the wolves, vulnerable and hurt. You know, this person should be ashamed of themselves. All right, so let's, here's this new deck. It's really cool. I want to see what this person has to say to you, okay? What do they want to say to my beautiful Cancers? Cancer, you're leaving the scene, whether it's a house move or you're just um, leaving this behind you in the past, right, energetically, okay? But yeah, you're done with this. You're freeing yourself. You're done. And, you know, this is kind of a state of mind, too, you know? These people are still going to continue to bash you until the divine shows everybody everything, okay? And I feel like you know that. And it's almost as if you're like, let them talk. Let them talk. I'll give them a lot to talk about. Go ahead and talk. I don't care because I'm leaving you all behind anyway. You know, it's almost like you're saying, I don't care about your opinions of me because I, you know what? Um, none of it matters. I'm, I'm free from this. I'm free from the pain. I'm free from, you know... Um, wondering if I'm going to get my justice in this. I'm freeing myself from the whole dang thing. I'm tired. I'm done. 
That's what you're saying. Okay. So I feel like you're both kind of being relieved here. You're being relieved of being stuck in stagnancy, in pain, while people kind of tear you apart, right? And your person's being freed from this shame, too, and having to sit in their guilt every day and be reminded of it. All right. All right, what does this person want to say? My fantasy. You're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. Yeah, see? And I feel like they wanted people to be on their side. They, they, they care more about what these people thought of them than doing the right thing by you. Okay? Um, I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be ama an amazing parent. And I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. I feel like this person is looking at your photos, right? And crying. I feel like they're daydreaming about what life could be with you. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again. I listen to the music you've shared with me. It helps me it helps me to connect with you although we are apart. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm yeah, and I feel like they listen to other people, tell them what to do or they're wor they're too concerned about what other people think. Um, I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. Yeah, they want to break free from this group. I am overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or energy for a relationship. Yeah, and they're still attached to an ex. I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, and or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. Yeah. They they do. They need to figure out a way out of this, okay? And if they if they have someone else that they're around, that's coming to an end. This is a game to me, the way I'm acting, responding, or posting it to get your attention. So maybe they've tried to get your attention in the past, maybe make you jealous. They played a game and it backfired, Cancer, okay? It backfired miserably on this person. I'm telling you, they feel horrible. I miss you. I wish things were different. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. Yeah, they do daydream, you know. Yeah, and then gaslighting, right? I've been lying to and gaslighting you. You weren't crazy. You were right. I just wasn't strong enough to admit it. Yeah, they, and they still aren't. They're still being a coward. They're still not strong enough quite yet to admit that they've lied and betrayed you horribly. Okay? They're right now, they're living with this shame while they cry over your photos um, dreaming, daydreaming of a time when you can be together, right? Or if, you know, thinking about how life would be with you, okay? And knowing that you're leaving them behind. You know, you're, not, you're just not going to deal with this anymore. So, yeah, I feel like they were playing games, you know? Um, and now they're, in, now they're living in regret. I mean, you know, I, I see this person trying to reach out to you in the future, Cancer, but right now they're just not ready. You know, they're, they're trying to find a way out of this. Um, and there's, there is no easy way out of this. The divine's going to, I feel like if they don't do something, if they don't tell the truth, the divine is going to handle the situation and they're not going to like the results. But... 
in the end, they'll be free from it and they'll be relieved. Okay, if that makes sense, right? Anyway, Cancer, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.